this is an absolutely beautiful sunny day. A little breeze is blowing. It's about 70 degrees out. Nice. My wife and I are heading out to Big Horn Canyon in Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. Big Horn is a remote canyon, sort of in the middle of nowhere with some striking scenery. Get out to the trailhead. We drove down Hole in the Rock Road about five miles, parked in a tiny parking lot, and off we went. What you're seeing here is the result of a lot of rain over the last couple of years and some massive erosion. Bighorn is an off the beaten path slot canyon that few seem to have ever visited. The trail to Bighorn Canyon meanders through Harris Wash, crossing Water Creek beds and Dry Creek beds several times. We have a great guide today, Jeff Sanders of Desert Dawn, as this canyon is very hard to find. It's a long, long way out here, and Bighorn has several entrance points. This looks a lot like a riverbed. They are just so... So, so this would, we had water here or they tapped yeah. into something. Yeah, there's a lot of water out here. Right? At the end of the video, I will be offering several important hiking tips for Bighorn, so stay tuned. Uh -huh. Also, we will be hiking into an unnamed slot canyon possibly filled with rattlesnakes, so you got to stay tuned. I'm not talking policy over what, how it should be used. That's the beginning of the canyon, looking straight down, try not to fall in. We are heading down now to begin the canyon. Wow, that was, that was quite a ways out here. All right, we're now about to enter the canyon. All right, Jeff, I'm gonna lead, just keep going. These slot canyons right. cut through Navajo sandstone rock Drill. layers with a very wide range of colors. <laughs> this hike overall is uh, somewhat difficult because of the long distances going out and coming back. The height gain is only 380 feet, but boy is it a long way out here. Take a close look here. Jeff Sanders, who is a sensational guide, is hiking barefoot. We are heading down here, first canyon obstacle. As I mentioned, Bighorn Canyon is located in Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. This is a massive area of protected land encompassing over one million acres here in southern Utah. In fact, Grand Staircase Escalante is the largest area of protected land in the entire United States. Piece of trivia, it was the last area in the U.S. to be mapped. By the way, this is our second trip with guide Jeff Sanders. About two years ago, he took us to Peekaboo and Spooky Slot Canyons, also here in Grand Staircase Escalante. Here's our second creature. And there he goes. These little guys can fly. Are you looking for divots and walking in those divots? Oh, wow, it's not here. It's a little bit easier yeah, coming down. I don't know why, but it's not Hey Allison, look at this. This is great. Look at the waves. 
Look at the colors. Don't trip now. Don't worry. Oh, it's getting really interesting up here. Not Chip. as much scrambling in this lock canyon as Peekaboo and Pookie. Yeah. Right. Is it we about halfway in? No, well, we're closer to the end of it. Closer to the end, okay. didn't have your heart zen on Peekaboo and Spooky, I would have done this one. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Oh, that, but they were so much fun. They were a lot of fun. They're a great, they're great set of canyons. It's, it's a challenge for the elderly. Yeah. <laughs> it is a challenge. We made it. We, we made it. it. And and the length, it's, it's probably a good two miles longer than this hike. Yeah, actually, as far as we went, we were, we were there's went. one of those flying lizards. Were you in the Navy? No, I was in the Army. Army. Six glorious years. What's that? Six wonderful years. Ooh, this is really cold. Yeah. Oh, here we go. It's getting tight. Spooky. spooky was turned sideways, take your backpack off. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was the part I like. Very fun canyon. Yeah. Well, I think that was my favorite. Yeah, I did that one. You could go any way you wanted to and never meet anybody. That was the spooky, right? Yeah, you can go yeah. to the beach. You can go peekaboo's first or spooky first, whichever went, you wanted to. Well, the, the drop down the the one that was hard to get into climbing, that was peekaboo, right? That's peekaboo, that's correct. Right. You have to go down on that ladder. Right, correct. Yeah. But boy, once I got over there, it was like a mm -hmm. That little sinewy part, the last part, it's not a very long, it's not a very long canyon, spooky. But, but it is cool. Yeah. It's like outer space. Yeah. And there were places where you would just, um, wow. you have to kind of twerk your body through that, those S curves. Yep. That was fun. Same. Yeah, they will. Yeah. These rocks are really beautiful. So the rattlesnakes here are not very big, not like Texas rattlesnakes. So they're just their strike distance is not very long. What a magnificent hike right here at Bighorn. All right, we are now out of Bighorn Canyon, walking over to the aforementioned secret canyon that may be filled with rattlesnakes. Oh, that sand's starting to get hot. Our yeah. guide, Jeff Sanders, gave us a very strong warning. Be alert for rattlesnakes lurking underneath overhangs within this uh, slot canyon. The rattlesnakes we're most likely to find are speckled rattlesnakes, although there are five other kinds of rattlers in Utah, Mojave, Prairie, Great Basin, Hopi, and Midget Faded.
where we live in Galveston, Texas, there are western diamondback rattlesnakes, and they are nasty. I can see if one of us got bit by a rattlesnake today, I would have to revert to my Boy Scout training, cutting the wounds, yeah, sucking out the venom. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you wearing them Thursday? Yep. <laughs> Sitting on the shelf at home waiting. I should have looked better at these before I left. This is where the secret slot canyon really narrows, so I guess it's time for extra caution. I'm looking. I'm looking, sir. Back here is where I've seen most of the snakes. In here? Back in this deeper section. Yeah, okay. Well, this is beautiful. Yeah. Whoa. These are tight quarters. I guess if we saw a snake, there wouldn't be a lot of room to uh, run away. It's good that we have four eyes looking for these. Yes, it is. I'm looking, Jeff. I swear. We've got six. Well, how big are they? They're only about yay long. 18 inches. Well, not as small. No. But yours are three feet long. Or, or larger. Yeah. And big, I've fat. I've never seen one that long. Mm. Yeah, that's how big they get down in Texas. Jeff, this is too, this is, this is a really seriously cool canyon. Yeah, I know. I like wow, it. man. We're almost to the end. I you love it. You can see the end. You can, I can see the end yeah. right there. Yeah. Well, it's a little, oh man, I feel the temperature change. Yep. It's amazing. Nice and cool. And then there's just a little crack right in front of you. Yeah. So it's a turn around and go back home again. All right. A little bit glad to get out of that slot canyon. And we're heading back now. As promised, here are some tips to make the remote hike to Bighorn a fun day. Number one, hire a guide. We hired Jeff Sanders of Desert Dawn and he got us out and back with absolutely no trouble. Hi, I'm Jeff Sanders with Desert Dawn. Number two, bring even more water than you think you'll drink. It is a long way out here. I'm ready for my sleep. Number three, take your time and enjoy the little things that make this remote slot canyon so worthwhile. 